Hello, you guys. I'm just kidding. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Your girl did a little damage. The number one thing I think of when I think of Aloe Yoga is damn, they're expensive. I originally went to their website for just a couple things. Some new releases that I saw them promoting on their Instagram. Yes, I follow them on Instagram. I'm constantly getting ads put into my face. And once in a blue, there's an ad that I just can't resist. I end up hitting up the website and then here it is a whole box now. Isn't that how it goes? You go for one set, you end up browsing, and then before you know it, you're broke. I have been on and off with them for a few years. I've done hauls before in the past. I love their shorts, I love their tops. That's what speaks to me the most. But over the past year, I noticed every single time I go to their site, I'm gravitated more and more towards their athleisure. And to be quite honest, their logo, just the simple lowercase aloe, is really hip right now. I'm seeing it everywhere. I went to the mall the other day, saw some guy with an aloe yoga hat. It looked good. I got an aloe yoga hat in this haul because of him. So we have all new releases in today's haul. A nice variety. I think there's gonna be something for everyone here. I have a place for each of these pieces in my wardrobe, but we're about to find out whether or not these hefty prices are justified. There's a good chance probably not, but nevertheless, I'm gonna give them a fair shot. I know without my other aloe yoga hauls, a lot of the pieces I kept, but a lot I did not. It's literally hit or miss, depending on the price point for me. But before we get into it, definitely do not forget to hit that subscribe button. We have a ton more new spring releases coming your way. We actually have some new Gymshark coming your way next. New Alpha Leap amplifies more okay and a really beautiful buff bunny haul that i cannot wait to share with you guys so definitely be subscribed so you do not miss out hit that notification bell so you can get alerted for all my new videos and drop a comment with your thoughts on aloe yoga have you tried them yet is this something you've always wanted to try let me know below so like i said these are all new releases i have picked seven unique spring outfits and we will be talking about them as sets but do not get it twisted. Every piece is individually sold and it will be linked down below for you. Okay. I already opened these. As you can tell, they're not in packages. I know you see some clean, fresh white, some linen color, spunky magenta. Shout out to the guy in Pottery Barn who inspired me to buy this hat. <laughs> we have a crisp clean white on white aloe yoga hat. If you look closely, you have a really beautiful thick embroidery. The back is a Velcro seal, which makes my life 10 times easier. Don't know what it is, but wearing a cap with my ponytail through just keeps me like, I can keep my head down and not be social. It's not bad. But the crisp white will go with anything and I can never have too many baseball caps. 32 bucks, is it more than I usually pay for hats? Yeah, I'm used to my $15 Marshalls hat, thank you very much. Nevertheless though, because it is really nice quality, the Velcro, the clean white, I just love the look overall. <sighs> Alright, fine, I'll pay the $32. Alright, so before we get into the outfits, do keep in mind that everything you see in today's video is in my true size small. I have a lot to say about the sizing, so beware. We're gonna be suggesting some sizing up and sizing down throughout, so pay attention if you're interested in these pieces, and again, they will all be linked below for you. More white. God, this is dangerous. We are looking at the Charmed Collar Bra and the Aces Tennis Skirt. This is such a preppy look, and just wait till you see what I have put over top of this. You just wait for a second. The collar bra, I, it speaks for itself. I don't have a collar bra. Like, look at that. It looks like it's a sophisticated blouse, but in a sports bra form. This actually got really mixed reviews. Not all that great, because there's not a ton of support. But luckily for me, my 34Bs, you know what? This is doable for me. It's so cute. The tennis skirt just goes perfectly with it. I actually, they have a ton of tennis skirts. Keep in mind. What stood out to me with this particular one was how it's, it's straightforward in the front in terms of design, but then the whole around the back is all pleated. So it gives a really preppy look. You have a nice elastic band right here. And I really love the fact that it has a little crisscross overlay in the front, if you can see. So it doesn't just go straight across real squared up. It is very rare for me to find a skirt that complements my height and my body. And yes, they are lined, very comfortable. So soft, by the way. This feels totally wicking. Like I could sweat and do tennis, which I do not do. I actually don't like tennis at all. Hurts my lower back, all right, when I have to bend and grab the ball. This is so cute and I'm gonna get it filthy, I can't wait. Tennis club, anybody? <sighs> About to go hit some dingers. 
Yeah, I'm not that athletic, but damn, this is so cute. I'd be afraid to do anything in this outfit actually because it's so white. I think this sports bra is comfortable. I can see why it has mixed reviews though. There's like zero support. I do actually think I could have gotten away with sizing down, but true size small is acceptable. Because I'm wearing it for fashion only, I don't plan on working out in this sports bra. Let's be real. There's no real support underneath here either. So if you have big hoo-hahs, like, you're gonna be jiggling around. But damn, if this isn't like a nice sophisticated sports bra, I don't know what is. I love that it's just kind of casual, doesn't dig around anywhere, the collar's what sold me, and I still stand by that. In case you're wondering, this sports bra is as it is. There's no button up, no zip up, no adjustments. It's just extremely straightforward. The only breakups you have are little minimal seams. Right here is three of them, tri seam. Very, very minimal all around. And if it doesn't just flow perfectly with the Aces tennis skirt, I'm really glad to finally find a white tennis skirt that looks decent on me. I think this flows really nicely. This is extremely comfortable. You do have this real thick elastic band, but my size small is perfection. There's no digging. It's not tight. With that being said, there's no support. <laughs> it's just kind of more for a fashionable purpose. You do have the liner underneath, which I love. It's completely see-through though. I mean, look at the tag, like you can see it right through. The good thing is, is when I'm wearing it down, you do not see my dark underwear. Like I'm wearing dark undies and nothing is detectable. You do have embossed aloe logo lettering going around. So you still see the logo, but it's barely there. But you also do have the little matching silver logo in the front to go with the collar bra. How cute does this hat look with it? Like, who the heck am I right now? The liner does have little side pockets, really meant to put tennis balls in, but I don't even own a tennis ball. Paired it with my new Boo Boo Lemon Bliss Feels. This is an all white chic set. What do we think? You could totally ride with that outfit solo, which I might do, but better yet, what I plan to do is I grabbed one of these cropped polos. This gives such a casual, yet still preppy look in my opinion. This is that athletic heather gray color, so it flows so nicely with the all white outfit. The reason I chose this is because they actually modeled this particular polo with that outfit I just showed you with the skirt, and it looked perfect. It was one of those rare outfits that I said, I need this whole thing, give me it right now. So this is what we're looking at, baby. All right guys, like I said before, to break up this all white set, like they featured on their website, let's try out the gray polo. Oh, my hair's all fucked up, hold on. Again, sticking with the preppy theme, this is so comfortable. It's like a midi, it's not totally cropped, it's not full length, it's right in the middle so that you kind of see the high-waisted skirt underneath. I do have to say, like the baggy sleeves are doing it, it's more of a boxy look. Totally true to size, like I would stick with my size small. I guess you can get away with sizing down, but I like that oversized slouchy look. This is so like out of league for me, so keep in mind, I'm trying something new, I'm trying to get some different looks in my wardrobe, so I'm not always wearing the same thing. I think this is a really cute, like go to a baseball game in this. Why not, right? You do have the patch logo right on the arm here. The lining is a super plush, soft liner. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like exactly on the site, full buttoned up, just like that. Ooh, yeah, very comfortable. Not choking me out, I'm good. Tell me, do I pull it off? How do I look? Hello Yoga, hit me up. <laughs> Who wants to see the priciest item of them all? The Summer Nights Lightweight Coat. How I've been liking to wear my more athleisure sets is I like to have some shorts, sports bra, and a long cardigan or coat, something like that. Casual streetwear vibe, and I'm not just going out in like shorts and a sports bra, it's a nice cover up. I wanted to get the summertime version of that because it's so lightweight, I can wear it even on the hottest days. And yes, it is extremely lightweight. It looked so good on the model. We will get into this when I try it on in a second, but the way it looked on the model, it looked nothing like that on me, it's crazy. So like I said, the most priciest piece in the haul, this rolled in at $250. This is in the color ivory, as you can see, ivory in pure white. Because if it was a pure white, it would look like I'm wearing a lab coat. Ivory just kinda differentiates that a little bit. <laughs> this is light as a feather, I'll give it that. Wow, this doesn't look humongous on me. <laughs> I definitely should have sized down to an extra small. The model, now that I know she's five foot ten, this all makes sense to me right now. The model was five ten, wearing an extra small. 
Ashley Gata over here, five foot three, wearing a small. Put two and two together, this looks ridiculous. <laughs> On the model, this mid zipper here came really pretty, like up to her rib cage. I loved the idea of this. Oh my God, a lightweight summer overthrow. How stinking cute, especially when the model was rocking it. Nothing I could do with it. <laughs> I look like I'm a lab tech. I look like a pharmacist or wearing like something for the medical field and I just can't get behind this right now. Even though it has a nice draw cord so you can cinch it in and snatch that waist, it's still not doing much for me because this is 10 times too big for me right now. But for the sake of the review, if you are a tall gal, I think you will love this. And I still suggest sizing down no matter what. This naturally runs big. Look at this lightweight hood though, really cute. If you look closely, it's actually got an interesting texture. It's called a seersucker fabric. It is coming down to about my mid calf. All right, that's how long it is. Ideally, I'd like it right about heel, heel. You can see through it, so that's how lightweight it is. It's very, very soft. I can feel that it has that nice, luxurious vibe to it. It's not cheap feeling. I don't think you're gonna rip a finger through it, but then again, it's pretty delicate, so. Yeah, this, this jacket I just had to try, all right? My curiosity got the best of me as usual. I really had high expectations. I still think it's a good quality jacket, but sizing's off and I think my height just doesn't work with this. They released a ton of pieces in this stunning magenta crush color. The thing I love about Halo Yoga is they will literally put out a pop of color on the website and have a ton of pieces to choose from. That they did with this color indeed. These are the two I chose because they're seamless, yeah. So we got the seamless biker shorts high-waisted and the seamless sports bra. Both are ribbed. I was actually planning to wear that long summer coat with this, so it kind of mellows out this real pop of color. The ribbed biker shorts came in exactly like I thought that they would. I do have a ton of ribbed biker shorts. I like biker shorts because they're longer in the summertime, nothing's hanging out, and I feel a little more confident wearing biker shorts, I guess you can say. The sports bra I got just to match, but I'm not gonna lie, I wish there was an actual bra pad in here. There's no padding and no option to even insert padding. I guess wearing this more as yoga wear then would be acceptable. Or if you're wearing this underneath something, you could totally rock it as is, but me, when I go out into the elements, when I know I might be seen, the air, the land, or the ocean, there's always that little bit of like uncertainty when it comes around this region, especially if the air, land, or ocean is very cold. I like to make sure I'm extra protected. In case you're wondering what it says underneath the inside band, it says mindful, mindful movement. So yes, I would assume this is meant for just low key types of movements like yoga, hello yoga. Okay, so these biker shorts are exactly how I was hoping they wouldn't fit. They're really restrictive, like real tight, especially around the glutes. So much so that it's appearing that it's more of a low waist than a high waist on me, because they're that hard to get up. Now it looks stretchy right on the band, but like the rest of it, no way, Jose. Even though they're super compressive, there's no real CT. I'm wearing underwear, nothing really going on here, that's good. It is so tight around here that the band is literally touching the top of my ass crack right here. This couldn't go past my bum if it tried. I do think if you don't have crazy glutes or anything, you could get away with this. I still would recommend sizing up though, absolutely. The compression around here just does not add up to this. It just, it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Even attempting to squat, it's just it's just riding right down. You can see my Gymshark underwear poking through. <laughs> the sports bra is really cute. It makes the girls look nice, especially since there's no padding, not too shabby. I actually really love the fact that this magenta crush shows off the aloe logo 10 times better than the lighter sets. Really beautiful contrast logo. I'm just, I'm so bummed. Like it just doesn't fit right down here. So it kind of throws off the whole set for me. But sports bra is a go, totally true to size. No adjustments or anything, no digging. Extremely comfortable. Yeah, size small up top, absolutely. Size small down below, no. And because I drained my entire bank account, they were so generous in giving me a tote. I think they always do this. If you spend a certain amount, you get a free tote. Tie-dye, I love it. I wish it zipped, but you can't be too picky when it's free, am I right? This is more of a 
canvas back. So it's a straight up canvas. There's no pockets or anything. It's actually really straightforward. Nice, decent amount of space going on in this bag. This is actually a really durable bag. I think it retails for like $50. This would make a really nice beach bag, actually. You wanna put your towels, your sandy towels in here because it's that durable canvas type of material. Then I think you could get away with that. No printed logo, it's right inside of it. Does that make sense? <laughs> It's embedded into here, so there's no print or anything awkward, so you could throw it into the wash if you need. Yeah, thanks, Aloe Yoga. Dope. I'm gonna get use out of this. So the same day we were in the mall where I saw my Pottery Barn pal wearing the Aloe Yoga hat, I studied around what the women were wearing. It's creepy, I know, but I like to have some insight so that I know what to share with you guys. What's trending, what's stylish, what's, what's in style right now. So with that being said, I already knew that flares were making a huge comeback, but wow, the amount of gals that I saw wearing flares, I am loving the flare movement that we got going on now. Every brand's coming out with flares. So with that being said, guess what I got? <laughs> I got the airbrush high waist 7 8 boot cut legging in ivory. This is a freaking stretchy goddess of a legging. I knew from the site that this would be comfortable. I just knew it in my soul. It's very thick, like the durability is thick. And for it being such a light color, I'm glad. I don't want thin when it comes to white or light ivory. I actually paired it with the ribbed crossover bra. This I teased in Instagram stories and I got so many DMs from this. Don't get it twisted, I tried all these on already. I had to, I was so excited for this haul that I couldn't wait to get in front of the camera and do it with you. <laughs> so I already tried everything on. This is one hell of a sexy, cute sports bra. It's in the color California Sand. It's the destination sports bra. So I figured ivory and California Sand, really nice nude palette we got going on. Let's see how they blend together. There's no denying this is one of the sexiest bras I've ever put on my body. Believe it or not, my 34Bs are looking stellar as hell. I do think that this is extremely comfortable. Possibly sizing down might have done me some good because you do have a lot of extra room right here. I wouldn't do anything crazy intense in here because I do think my boobies will find its way out some way, somehow. But if you're keeping it low key and just using it for fashion, you should have no problem. This crisscross does it, man. And it's nice and stretchy. Do you see how stretchy that band is? I think. Overall, you won't have any issues with discomfort. Even though it crisscrosses right here, it's super straightforward in the back here. This is a very low support sports bra, obviously, but you do have removable bra pads. Overall rib texture, I think this beige tone is perfect with the ivory boot cut flares. If you're somebody like me, right? I'm ready to get onto the flare bandwagon, all right? It's trending and you gotta get in on it. But you're like, look, I'm not ready for flares yet. This is a nice introductory where you get the boot cut so it's like a baby flare. It's like a barely there flare. A little wrinkly down here, I'll give it that. Like, what the hell is this? Like, everything looks so smooth and then right here it's just like kinda wrinkly. I might have to steam this out a bit. This is my summertime legging. I already know I'm in love because it fits so beautifully. Like it is body fit, grabbing me in all the right places. It's stretchy too. Look at that. This is a 7 8 legging, keep that in mind. I'm 5'3". Look at where it comes. And this is the type of legging, especially in this color, you do not want it to drape on the ground because you're no better than a mop. You're just gonna mop up the whole floor and your, your leggings are gonna be so dingy, and especially since these are what, 100 bucks? This entire outfit is a no-go when it comes to working out. I don't even wanna sweat in it. They are thick, but they're still relatively breathable. I'm getting a little baby CT. Uh, nothing crazy, but it's... Mm. Long story short, this is my fancy outfit. In fact, I do have a Backstreet Boys concert coming up in July. I can't wait for that. Maybe it's on a lawn somewhere, so maybe I will actually wear these fancy pants. I don't know, what do you think? Okay, are you ready for this one? I have been eyeing this damn sports bra for months. <laughs> And I finally got it. And by sports bra, I actually mean crop tank. <laughs> so this is the Airlift Fuse bra tank. No padding, none of that. High neck, it just got me. It lured me right in. That sophisticated logo right on the neck. Are you kidding me, that collar? This was too sexy to pass up. I actually paired it with the same color. These are in the color gravel stone. The Accolade sweatpant. Because I figured a nice sophisticated tighter crop up top with a nice, loose, casual fit jogger? Absolutely. This is my airport outfit. 
I actually think you could genuinely use this as a yoga sports bra. It's more of like a crop tank, but what I like is that you do have an underliner under here. So you got a little baby support, nothing crazy. It's still very low support in my opinion, but I do like it as a barrier. And the packing, man, this is where it's at for me. The seller on this bra for me is without a doubt this high collar. I feel like it adds a level of sophistication to a relatively casual look. This is exactly what I'm talking about with athleisure fashion. You can still give that level of like, ooh, confident sophistication while still being ultra comfortable, casual, and look like you're not really trying, except you are. Even though I feel like these joggers have that oversized look beyond the belief, you do have that cuffed band on the bottom. So even me being 5'3", it doesn't really matter the inseam because no matter what, you're still okay. It's not gonna drag on the floor. I'm not gonna lie, these joggers are very basic. It does have a nice stretch. It is very warm and toasty and cozy. It's actually super plush. Not for $108. I feel like these should be more like $50 to maybe $60. Pretty much half the price. I don't know, I think I might send back the joggers because I do have a lot of joggers already. <laughs> Pair it with something else, but the sports bra is staying. I have nothing like this, and I feel like I could just work this so well into my already existing collection. So you remember when I told you that Alo Yoga was pushing particular sets on social media, which made me go to their website? This was it. <laughs> so this is actually their brand new mesh high waist hot summer capri. Same exact thing, but a long sleeve crop top we have here. They come in white or black. Truth be told, when I purchased this, these were $100 a pop, mind you. I assumed, especially because it was featured like this on the website, that it would come with some sort of liner underneath. When I got it in, I was sadly mistaken. There's nothing going on underneath these. I now realize that I, I do believe that you supply your own. I thought for $100 each, they should come with a liner at least, maybe an option, like a, just a set to put underneath it that you don't necessarily have to wear, but at least for 100 bucks a pop, you come with it. Because they didn't now, it's more or less like a bathing suit cover up. Do I want or need a $200 bathing suit cover up? Truth be told, I don't. If there were liners involved in this set, would I wear it athleisurely, style it up? Yeah, I would. Because ultimately I do find them to be pretty hot. <laughs> but not hot enough for $200 without a stinking liner. Okay. I was so afraid that I was gonna poke an extra hole, like one of those where you just get your finger or something stuck in here and you just rip an even larger hole. That's the whole fear that I had when putting this set on, because it could totally tear. This is delicate. Stretchy though, I will give it that. There's a nice stretch. This is something that like, if you're cool with getting an awkward suntan line, then uh, hit this outfit up. I don't even know where I would wear this. Like, why would I, who, where, what, when? I don't know. <laughs> On the unique scale level, it's through the roof. Yeah, I mean, $100 a piece, that's a little crazy, especially for something that's so out of the ordinary that I feel like you can only really wear this at festivals or, on a beach <laughs> or something like that. As you'll see in the overlap, there's different layers of holes. Like this was thought out. This is methodical right here, believe it or not. Even got some squiggles and things going on. So I can only imagine how difficult it is to make, therefore probably reflecting in the overall price. It is comfortable, I'll give it that. Extremely stretchy, thank goodness. This looks like the type of material just because of the design that would be more like fishnetty and stiff. But no, this is extremely breathable and stretchy. The Capri's a nice length though. I'm not used to wearing Capri Capri's. Like I'm used to my seven eighths. This is actually like a really cute summer look. For me personally, I think I would stick to rocking the top. That's enough of an eye grab. Wear it with a pair of jeans or something like that or a skirt, even a pleated skirt, all right? But the pants I feel like are just a little overkill together like this. <laughs> Cause you can see right through it. I don't mind seeing through the, you know, doing a little peekaboo up top cause you could put a sexy bralette underneath. So. If you're thinking of one or the other, I mean, I would snag the top at best. The leggings, true to size overall though, I'll give them that, very accurate to sizing. I feel like I have a lot of stretch and room to breathe. So for example, yeah, Ace's tennis skirt wins. This is how I would pair it, not with the capris. This is the winner of the day here. You guys remember my shorts haul, my Aloe Yoga shorts haul? I am obsessed with their dreamy shorts. They're very pricey but very ultra comfortable. So I got them in Heather Gray. And I also grabbed the matching sweatshirt bra. Are you kidding me? 
You know, I love my sweatshirts. Now I get it in a bra form. There's no padding or anything like that. Not even an option to put them in. But for this casual of a piece, I really didn't expect it. This is more for lounging out watching Netflix, but still being silly sexy. I feel like this color is the epitome of a lounge. When I think of loungewear casual going on a road trip, I'm thinking gray sweats. The bra is a lot thicker, more like a sweatshirt. The bottoms are more like a lightweight, airy feel. I feel like this is, feels like I'm wearing nothing. If you remember my last review on these shorts, I love them. They're one of the most comfortable, loose fit shorts I've ever worn. The pockets are a stretchy mesh, which I think is cool. I feel like this is just the quintessential cute sporty look. Gym class status, what do you think? The sports bra is unique, it fits well. Both of these are very true to size. No side boob, nothing going on. You do have a little bit of let up right here. Not enough to be annoying. If anything, I like it because nothing's digging around or creating a bra bulge or anything like that. This is just, this is just like wearing Real comfortable sweatpants on your boobies. Length is great, there's no liner in here, so keep that in mind. You know I'm a lover of loose fit shorts. I prefer them over tight shorts. The one thing I look out for with loose fit shorts is will it ride right in the middle here? Like, is it gonna dig up? Cause some loose fit shorts, they do that, unfortunately. These do not. There's nothing grabbing in areas that it should not be grabbing. These are stretchy and comfortable. Keep in mind the sweatshirt bra is like stiff. It's like a sweater, it's cotton based. There's no stretch or anything like that, except for the band here. This is the only stretchy part. I personally would not wear this to a gym, especially with how I work out. I just feel like there's not enough support going on. Always playing around with different athleisure styles. My current love, believe it or not, are bodysuits. This onesie. Onesies and bodysuits. This is actually a onesie, not technically a bodysuit. This is the Aloe Soft Suns Out onesie. If you're familiar with the Aloe Soft material, it's actually my favorite material from them. Super popular. It's extremely soft. They have it in their Aloe Soft leggings. It's just a, such a dreamy texture. You would know uh, if you've tried it before, you would know what I'm talking about. I chose this because I, again, I love wearing cardigans with my athletic wear. It just really takes it from gym and yoga to straight street wear. I love the length of the shorts. I love the simplicity in this onesie. You just have a nice V cut and you actually have a middle seam going down. Onesies, I feel like, are my new thing. You just throw them on. You don't have to worry about matching a top and a bottom and then throw something casual over top. Throw on some sneakers, some sunglasses, a cap and get the hell out. So my obsession for onesies just recently started. This is why. I wanna be able to wear something so comfortable, no thoughts being even put into what I'm matching it with, and then throwing cardigans over. Like, this is the vibe I was going for. A pair of sneakers, maybe a baseball cap, and you just walk out the tam door. Don't even ask where I got this. A long time ago, I was like a teenager. Okay, so overall, this onesie, oh man, I wanted to love it so bad. It's so loose up top, it's sickening. I think I definitely needed to size down, even though I really just like the fit everywhere else. I don't wanna necessarily size down because I don't want it any more tighter around my thighs. This is as tight as I want it to be, but this, I can't rock with this. If only they had adjustments here, just to kinda make it a little bit tighter up top, this would have been a perfect onesie. But the softness of that aloe soft material, holy. <laughs> this is more designed for streetwear at best. That's exactly what I was gonna use it for, but I just can't get past this part. Aloe uh, yoga, if you're watching, I rarely say that something needs uh, plastic adjustments, but this is a piece that absolutely needs it. But I'm gonna go back to that aloe soft material. If there's anything on aloe yoga's website you're thinking about getting, and it says it's made with its aloe soft material, then you really should get it. This is my favorite. It feels like straight velvet on you. This is an extremely stretchy, comfortable onesie. I will give them that. And it fits nicely in different, there's no bagging and things like that. So overall, I feel like the construction of this onesie, the stretch, the body fit look is spot on. If this was corrected up here, I'd get one in every single color. Hands down, cardigan hat, mm -mm, good. All right, so that concludes today's Aloe Yoga Haul. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. What are some of your favorite pieces if you liked any at all? I definitely think this bra makes it to my number one. I just got a size down though. I don't wanna see it go, but I gotta get my right size because as I'm like lounging out, you could totally, you're gonna slip a nip. I'm also really oddly obsessed with this hat, as you can tell. 
pretty much wore it throughout the whole video. I actually really had a thing for those flare boot cut leggings too. And I'm totally obsessed with that very first outfit you saw with the white tennis skirt, like hands down. Beautiful. Some pieces that are definitely gonna be boxed up right now after this video and sent back are the mesh leggings, the summer lightweight jacket, the joggers I'm wearing right now. Aloe Yoga, yeah, they're a little bit pricey. For me, what I like to do is, if there's anything that really catches my eye that has potential, I'll order it. They're really good with their return policy. Nine out of 10 times, it's either just a hit or miss all because of the price point. So you do find some real stellar gems with Aloe Yoga. Others you're like, okay, like why would I spend $150 when I could get something just like that somewhere else? So it really is just, you know, a roll of the dice sometimes. Overall though, I will say their quality is spot on. I have to give them that Aloe Yoga's quality has always kind of given that luxurious vibe. And I think that's definitely why they charge what they charge. But ultimately you gotta make your own decision. What is quality to you? What price point justifies that? And what is a little bit over the top for you? With that being said, let me know if you've tried Aloe Yoga. What are some of your favorite pieces or if you're looking to try them? Overall, I do like them as a brand. I do want to continue making some hauls for you guys because I genuinely love trying their stuff. So definitely do not forget to hit that subscribe button. We have a ton more videos, real fun spring videos coming your way. New releases, Gymshark, Alphalete, and Buff Bunny. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video.